Dave Jones here again. Uh, we're going to look at a, a, a song today. It's in. Um, it's mainly in three four to help three four strumming. There are um, in the intro. There are a couple of bars of four four, um, but I'll go through it with you slowly afterwards. What I'll do is I'll take you through three sections. We've got an intro section, we've got a verse section, and we've got a solo section. Um, the song's called Golden Brown, and it was uh, a song, a fantastic song by the Stranglers. Um, the chord part, the, 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 all the verses and the choruses were actually uh, originally played on a harpsichord, but um, you can play it on a guitar. And um, I'll take you through the song first, like I say, and then we'll go through all the bits separately. Um, and the guitar solo was actually played on a guitar, so that'd be kind of cool um, for you to get a little guitar solo under your fingers. Okay, so here's the intro section. I'll play through it in its entirety, and like I say, I'll go through each section slowly afterwards. So here's the intro section. Okay, so um, like I say, I'll go through the chords in a minute. Um, so that's the that's the intro section. Okay, and here the verse section's just got an E minor chord and a D, and a D major chord in it. Um, it's a fairly simple verse section, and it's got this sort of strumming pattern that goes. That carries on all the way through. Um, I was using open chords there, you could equally. Play your E and your uh, E minor and your D major chord there. Um, so that and that's a, a repeating sequence throughout all, all of the verses in, in the song. Uh, just use that uh, that sequence where all the singing goes is over that uh, that, that little chord sequence there. And um, then there's just the uh, we'll have a little look at the solo section. Okay, so I'll just play you the solo and then we'll have a look at all the different sections. <laughs> Okay, so that's the solo section. Okay, so uh, just a, a brief uh, look at the intro and talk about the, the strumming, etc. Et First thing to do is show you, if you, as usual, if you're following the PDF, I'll just see if I can get it a little bit closer to the screen. Um, the intro section repeats. Now, um, what happens if you, if you don't already know, sometimes in music you get things called first and second time endings. So if you're following the PDF, this little hap here, over one, two, three, over the uh, G chord that's notated at the top, um, and it goes on to this D chord here, that means the first, second, and third time that you play this repeating sequence, you play the ending of G followed by D, and then you go back to the B minor and repeat it. On the fourth time, if you look at the uh, here on the A, you'll see that there's a hat with four over it. So on the fourth time, you play B minor, F sharp minor, you miss out the G and the D, and you play A and G instead. So it's three times B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, three times, and then once B minor, F sharp minor, A, G. Okay, just to, to, to let you know, because that's a standard way of writing out um, a chord chart. So, the chords in this, we've got the B minor chord. I'm using a bar at the A minor bar shape at the, uh, at the second fret. We've got an F sharp minor bar chord. Then I've notated the G as an open chord. You could use G as an open chord. You could use G as a bar chord, whichever suits you. Really, really makes no difference. Now, the thing that's really important about this is the first four bars of the intro um, are played in a time signature called 3-4, which there is a lesson up on the uh, on the website about if you if you don't know too much about time signatures. But the last bar, the fourth bar of each each of the 16-bar uh, intro is played in 4-4. Four, four. So uh, there's a time signature change there. So what I've notated is a strumming pattern. It's got like an offbeat. It's called a syncopation strumming pattern. So on the B minor, F sharp minor, and the G, it goes down, up, up, down, up. And then on the D, it goes one and two and three and four and so down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you've got a strumming pattern that goes through um, down, up, 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 and you repeat that three times, like I say. And on the fourth time, we're on the B minor, we go down, up, up, down, up, F sharp minor, down, up. Down, up, this time straight to A, down, up, up, down, up, and then the G becomes a 4 4 bar. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the fourth time you repeat it, it goes. And 
then we're off into the verse section of the song. Now the verse section of the song comprises of just two chords, E minor chord and a D major chord. And the verse sections of the song are all in the time signature three, four. Um, but it's, again, there's a syncopation on the first bar. On the E minor, it goes down, up, up, up. And then on the D major chord, it goes down, down, down. So one, two, three. So E minor is down, up, 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 D. Down, 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 up, 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 up down, down, down. And like I mentioned in the uh, when I played through the whole thing for you, um, you could use it a bar chord. At the, uh, if you're practicing your bar chords, you could use the uh, E minor bar chord at the seventh fret there, and the D major at the fifth fret. So down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. What we'll do is we'll move to a close up of the solo section, just so you can see what's going on for those of you who uh, who need to follow it. Okay, we we'll just move to a close up now. We're going to start off with our first finger at fret seven on the B string, and our second finger at fret eight on the B string, and. Um, if you're following the PDF, I've got um, a little repeat sign there and it says time six. Again, just to save space, this phrase, this bar actually is played six times. So it goes two and three and four and so I'm going eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven. And what you do is you do that six times. I won't do it six times because I'll probably run out of time on the video, but you do that six times. And three and one and two and three and etc. And then in the next bar you go eight, and then up to ten. So eight, ten, all on the B string. Then you go back to your original phrase, and then you finish on seven, and then you go up onto the uh, G string nine with the third finger, and then seven on the G string with the uh, first finger. Then up to the D string nine with the third finger, and then on to the, staying on the D string but seven with the first finger. So that climb down is okay. So uh, and then we move up to the um, the twelfth fret um, and the tenth fret. So first finger on the tenth fret, third finger on the twelfth fret, and what we're going to do is this is called a pull off. That's signified by the P on the tab, pulling off from twelve to ten. Back onto the B string, same thing. And then onto the um, G string, and what we do is we pull off from 12 to 11, so use your second finger at 11, if you can see that. And then you hammer on to 12 again. So it goes. That's your phrase, and then you repeat that phrase again, same phrase, exactly the same. And then what we've got is a little kind of a jazzy little run here. And what we do there is we move on to the ninth fret of the A string. And we play the ninth fret with your first finger of the A string. And then the twelfth fret of the A string. I'd move with your third finger if I was you, just because of the next phrases. Um, and then you move down to the eleventh fret on the D string with your second finger. Twelfth fret on the D string. Then down to the G string, eleventh fret, twelfth fret. Then down to the B string, and we go 12, you can roll your finger for that, 12, 10, both on the B string. Then we climb back up again, G string 12, G string 11, G, uh, D string 12, D string 11. Then back to the D string 12, down to the G string 11, 12, and then onto the B string 10, 12. So first finger there, first finger, third finger and then roll your finger, high E string, 12, and finishing on the D note, uh, which is the 10th fret of the, um, of the high E string with your first finger. So that, that phrase is. So I hope you find that useful. It's a cool little solo for you to have um, in your repertoire if you're just starting out learning guitar solos. It's not, it's not, particularly easy for a, a sort of a beginner novice type player but it's it's something to sort of push your playing a little bit and uh, again you've got the three four in there so that's kind of nice for your um, for your uh, different strumming pattern and different strumming techniques so I hope you like that and I'll see you again